Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. If you're a septic tank owner and you live in the Norfolk area, then this live broadcast that I'm doing now will really, really benefit you. Um, as you know by now, or maybe you probably don't know, on the 1st of January 2020, the rules and regulations are changing in the UK for people that own septic tanks. And these are some of the biggest changes, man alive, that we've seen for about 300 years. And basically, um, septic tank owners um, are a quite a vulnerable position at the moment because many septic tank firms, can, uh, insulation firms, are taking advantage of these new rules and regulations, banding a lot of misinformation out there and charging people 15, 20, 25,000 quid to, relo uh, to relocate or replace a septic tank and soak away. Now, that's all very well and good and in some cases I, I, I'm sure that is the only option but the reason I've done this broadcast is because I offer free help and advice to people and um, I suppose it's really annoying me that many people are getting ripped off and there's many ways in which you can make your septic tank fully legal and compliant without having to spend 15, 20, 25,000 quid. Let me give you one example. You see this form here? This is called a government compliance form and uh, for septic tanks. And basically what it is, it, it makes your septic tank compliant for free. You can just go to septictank.co.uk and download as many copies as you want. You put one in your utility room, lodge one with your solicitor, and job done, <laughs> your septic tank's compliant. So let me just show you a bit about this form. Now, it, it says um, maintenance notice in accordance with UK building regulations. So, it's got some uh, 10 bullet points with some blanks at the end and it says the sewage system I've installed at my property is A and so you'd fill that in. So if you've got a cesspool, a septic tank or a sewage treatment plant you'd fill that in there. Where is the sewage system located? Well, you would um, tell them it's in the front garden or the back garden or maybe somewhere on the side. Um, the sewage system's constructed out of, so uh, maybe it's breeze block, maybe it's bricks or mortar or plastic or fiberglass, whatever, etc, etc. So you'd fill all that in, right? Then you sign it and you date it. And you put one in your utility room or your kitchen and lodge one with your solicitor. And what happens is, <coughs> when the government inspectors come round next year, and um, they'll say, okay, you're one of the people we know who's got a septic tank. Just let me interject here. Many people are wondering, how will the government know who's got septic tanks and who hasn't? Well, it's very simple. They go around all the uh, septic tank emptying firms, they uh, acquisition the data off them, and then they can go around to your house. So that's how they're doing it. So they'll come around to your house and say, OK, we know you've got a septic tank. Um, uh, have you got any information on us, uh, on you, to give to us so we can, you know, um, see the state and condition of the system that you've got? installed so you just hand them this form and they'll be like wow because it tells them everything right and they'll see that you're a responsible septic tank owner that you've got one lodged with your solicitor and they'll just say thank you very much and go away the the, the thing though where this form really really kicks in is if you come to sell your property because the people buying your property they know all about these new rules and regulations and they'll say to you um the solicitor representing the people buying your property will say to you well what condition is the septic tank in and many people at this point say oh uh, we don't know we can ask the septic tank empty man to find out and give you some receipts and that's not good enough so what happens is the people get some prices in to have a new septic tank installed and they'll knock you down accordingly, whether it be 10, 15, 20, 25 grand. This form makes all that go away. You just hand their solicitor to this form, he'll look at it, he'll go, blind me, okay. They'll give that to the, you know, the his clients, they'll look at it and they'll say, great. So that's one way <coughs> in which um, I'm helping people make their septic tank fully legal and compliant. Yeah, it's called a, a government compliance form for septic tanks. So the point is, look, if you live in Norfolk and you need advice, free advice, free help, free information, free advice, then on installation, on repairs, on septic tank smells, on septic tank problems, and just go to septictank.co.uk or ring the number on my website and I'd love to help you.